The building is a naked structure. Everything that you see is at the same time carrying, so structural, space making, so space defining and containing. There is no inside, outside, there's nothing that is mass, but everything that you get is doing all that you expect from architecture. In that sense, it's a very honest, a very archaic architecture. Typologically, you could also say that somehow this is a building built on stilts because sometimes it has floods. And then to build layers, which is ending with a trellis-like roof and starting with a platform, which is also kind of a trellis, under which you can park your car. And that also is open to the elements. So everything, literally everything, is visible, is part of the whole. We wanted to do buildings transparent or permeable so that inside, outside would not be a strict barrier, but it would be, you know, landscape would walk inside the building. If you think of all the plants we've been introducing, especially visual connections between inside, outside balconies or terraces opening up to the park or to the um, water side. The special concept of the museum, which is um, this kind of uh, sequence of spaces which is between so-called overview galleries, which are more fluid, where you walk between spaces and anchored places, which are more fixed spaces, is a new kind of uh, museum typology, which we believed was right to do here. And the directors and curators, you know, we started with Terry Riley, who is a very amazing founding director, together with whom we developed that concept. The auditorium staircase is an attempt to do more than just, let's say, an auditorium that would be a space that is closed and is only used when there is a performance or a conference or whatever, but to introduce it so you have a grand stair leading people up to the main gallery floor. By means of curtains it can be subdivided, so it gives more opportunities to the curators and directors and the people here. Well, I mean, we sit on these um, benches in that bay window, and this is trying to give the windows more than just, let's say, the role of being just a hole in the facade. But this is, again, a transitional element between inside and outside, and inviting people to rest and sit and to warm up a little bit, especially on your side, because you sit in the sun, whereas I sit in the shade.